Hey, what's going on, guys? Simony in here. Today, we're back with another video for you guys. Um, yes. We're actually back with part two of our RBMK prototype here, so... We had a little issues in the first part, and we're not gonna lie. Which caused it to explode, so we made some adjustments here. So, first thing we have is we went from one big tank to two big tanks here. On each side, both set to out in input slash output, so it should be outputting twice as much water. Second thing is now we have a dense steam pipe coming straight from the uh, the uh, RBMK fuel. Um, I mean the steam channels themselves are set to uh, <coughs> dense steam instead of regular steam. So now it uh, creates uh, dense steam at a higher temperature. And then we have four uh, steam turbines instead of two. So that's the changes we made here, and we also added eight uh, eight uh, steam condensers. So that's pretty exciting as well. Now we're going to see if it can handle a freaking bale fire rod. I'm kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. Now we, really ha we haven't changed anything about the general makeup of it. We just added more... Um, just added more steam turbines and barrels, um, big ass tanks. So, let's grab our bale fire here. Good old, uh, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it's just gonna go boom again. It should, it should take a more time. I, I, I would assume so. Because, uh, more water? <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Okay, well, it's very high still. And it just keeps going up. So, oh, yeah, that's... That's... <laughs> probably gonna need a cooler for this. Okay, oh. I'm not gonna... Sp I'm not gonna keep it in there, because I'm not trying to figure out if it's gonna work or not, because... Did you see the temperature on that? Yeah. So. You probably are going to need... The coolers for that, but for most other types, it should be fine. In theory, just bale fire is terrible. I mean, it's great if you have the right equipment, but if, it, if you don't, then it's it's terrible time. Guy kind of going crazy. Let's try this. Ooh, I'm, just, I'm debating whether or not I should have actually tried that. Oh. Did you even output anything? Doesn't even create any steam. What the heck? To be honest, I do not know how the bale fire. Um, not the bale fire. I do not know how this works. What does Digamma actually do besides explode? Obviously, it gives off a lot of radiation. But it's not giving off any heat. That's so random. This would instantly unalive you, though, as soon as you pick this up. Huh. Oh, you know what? Bring it. Look at that. Let's compare it to a regular digamma. An unused digamma. 12,000 rads per second. And this is freaking 16. Keep trying them until something works. <laughs> okay, this is still extremely hot. What the heck? So, in conclusion, this would only work for low tier like fuels and stuff, or mid tier at best. Anything higher than that, you risk the uh, explosion. See how low the temperature comes down. Still temp or temperatures really high. Anti hydrogen confined by a magnetized gold uh, 198 lead 209 lattice. What the heck? That sounds like a bunch of science nonsense. I swear, that's weird. That's gonna end up being a war. Water 
air pressure, I mean the steam and the water is good, so. Okay, it actually stabilized. It's actually have a solid being five uh, thousand degrees. Six thousand degrees. Which honestly I guess it could be worse. But the freaking output to this is probably immense. I do not even have a power block hooked up. Oh my god, it's so stupid. Just have to add two more steam turbines, <laughs> or just more cool. We, we could have more like steam channels. I don't know if that lowers. The, that would lower the town. I should. Might actually be less efficient for like low tier fuels. <laughs> or like mid tier fuels. I, I guess it depends on the heat output of this. Because of the new the uh, Xeon poisoning in the port too. Okay, you know what? I don't know what I've done here. All right, this one's actually getting so this highly enriched. This here, right? This probably because it has.
We're still good. That's fine. Okay, so we gotta figure out how to freaking use a, a Digamma fuel rod. Alright, it, it tops out at 4,000 uh, degrees, which is actually lower than our, uh, what was the other one you used? The uh, flash, no, not the, it was this one. Flashlight RBMK fuel rod. That's actually pretty good. I thought that was like 5,000 or something. Alright, I'm, re I'm gonna regret this. I, I know I am. I'm gonna be built, rebuilding another RBMK re reactor. <laughs> I've already rebuilt this one time. You know, you know what? That was probably a dumb idea. Just seal off the thing, and I, just in case I want to take it out. Yeah, it's it's going, it's going, boom. <laughs> hey, you can just turn it down on the heat there. Holy, you know what? Yeah, I'm taking it out. <laughs> Look at this. It's ridiculous. It keeps going too. don't want to take it out, but at the same time I feel like I should. It's not slowing down. Is it slightly slowing down? Oh, I don't... I, ah. This is... Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. Okay, and... Mmm. Ah, that is sketchy. This is sketchy. This is literally... Yeah, don't don't do this. This is probably the worst thing you could do. And you, I like, okay, it's, it's slightly going down. It's actually okay. This is stressful. Not gonna lie, it hasn't exploded yet. <laughs> okay, so technically speaking, it would work, but it's hella sus. It's very hella sus. I'm so nervous. I'm just waiting for it to go. Well, it doesn't have a bunch of steam, so I guess in theory that's why it hasn't exploded yet. <laughs> that's that is so nerve-wracking. There's no xenon poisoning in the core, though, so I guess that's good. But this is so nerve-wracking. Okay. Well, it's slowly going down. So I guess that, oh, this one's about to like freaking like lose pressure, like freaking water here. <clears throat> anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.